Well, I've learnt a new phrase today, and it's quickly becoming a favourite. It's Taylor welded blanks, which is also adding to the improvements of this car. What on earth is a Taylor welded blank, Martin? Well, we've used them in one or two areas across the, the vehicle, but there's a prime example here. A Taylor welded blank. The blank refers to the material in its flat state before any pressing operation has taken place. And what we can do is actually weld together panels of two different thicknesses before actually starting to press that panel. So if, if you like, we're doing the assembly operation before the pressing operation. And here's a classic case on the car. The door inner, the door inners on both the front and the rear are made from tailor welded blanks. The weld line, you can just make it out here. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. It's con a continuous laser welded seam in the blank. This material here is 1.8 millimetres thick, but just here it's only 0.8. So we've got the thickness and the stiffness and the strength where we need it, which is close to the hinge mounting points, so that from a door stiffness point of view, that's very good. One of the elements that the design team for the new Rover 75 are particularly proud of is the stiffness of the body shell. It's two and a half times stiffer than the Rover 600 series. And for these improvements, they took the BMW 5 series as their benchmark. Well, to find out exactly what all that means, here's Martin Walker from the body structure team. Wow. Hiya. Um, body stiffness, what does it mean? Body stiffness, we can think about that in, in two terms, two ways. First of all, the global stiffness of the body structure and the way in which it can actually resist forces that are looking to try and twist it or bend it. The forces you might get from running over a bump in the road. And we can also think about the local stiffness effects, which is really trying to get areas where the engine mounts fit or where the chassis fits to be as stiff as possible so that there's no uh, creaking or rattling as a result. Does it improve the drive performance as well to have a really stiff body and chassis? Having a stiff body allows the chassis to behave properly because the chassis is re reacting all its loads against a very stiff structure rather than against something that might actually move itself. Now you're saying it's two and a half times stiffer than the Rover 600. That's right. Uh, yeah. So what improvements have you made? How have you done it? This is what we call a, a body section and the way, it's the way in which we actually join the uh, different panels together. What we've done with this is try and make the section as large as possible because making that section large is making all the metal work as much as possible. And by making it large we haven't added to the weight that much but we have added to all the sectional properties there which improve its resistance to bending and to twist. Underneath the floor here we have some, some more sections like this, slightly smaller, that run from the back to the front of the vehicle. You can see either side of the spare wheel well, we have what we call the rear longitudinals, which is a box section about 100 millimetres square, which runs underneath there and then runs and dives out into this section just underneath the rear door. This section then runs along underneath the doors and as it comes up to the front of the car, so again it dives back into the, the uh, dash area and that then comes forward into the front longitudinals, similar section sizes, forming a very stiff underframe on which we can then mount the upper structure. Okay, so the driver of the new 75 yep. will notice what, particularly about the stiffness of the handling, how will they notice the improvements? I think they will notice the improvements in its wind noise improvement, the refinement if you like throughout the vehicle, absence of squeaks and rattles because a stiff body structure isn't going to start any of the other components that attach to it moving relative to each other and therefore starting a squeak or a rattle. And I think a lot of the drivers who have driven the car previously uh, on the, our prototype vehicles have said, wow, that's a stiff body structure, isn't it? It has actually been a part of the body that they've noticed its contribution, whereas normally you don't tend to look at it that closely. Excellent, Martin. Thank you very much. I look okay. forward to trying it out myself uh, next year. So do I. <laughs>